Do you suck at video games? Do you feel like your skills aren't improving? Then fear no more, the aimbot will be the solution for your problem. An application that automatically aims at the nearest enemy player. This all sound very complicated, right? Wrong. Even someone like me can do it. Filming a wild born and free lived Swedish one mastering this complex task is remarkable. We will stretch the tutorial into a couple of videos. Don't know the exact number yet, then it won't be too hard to grasp what's going on. This is part one, where we note all of the needed factors for a very simple aimbot. So without further interruption, let's numerate these ingredients. Position. The current location of all teammates and enemies. Local position. Our character's position. View angles, yaw and pitch for our character. At last but not least, player HP. We don't want to aim at dead enemies. These are the essentials, but it's easy to add another thing like team checks so we don't shoot teammates. Chinta deals with the roadblock with her signature move. Where is your problem? Let's figure out the structure of the program using pseudocode so we get a better understanding. So, uh, first of all, we'll want uh, a data type for the players and so on. So we'll create player. This will be a class and inside the class we'll have HP and X y and z coordinates we'll also have magnitude but we'll calculate that with the local player uh, later so let's make the main aimbot function aimbot there we go beautiful so when we want to make an aimbot we first want to figure out our position so we'll have a function for that get local player uh, there we go and this will store one player with the x y and z go nuts we will not add the magnitude or the HP because that's not necessary for our character. We will have a, a mouse key for triggering the aimbot, so we'll, we don't really need to check if our character is alive or what magnitude of the player. We will only check the magnitude of the rest of the entities. So after we have the local player, we can figure out the other entities so we can just call this get players so we get all of the rest of the players so when we call get players we will list all of the entities all of the players including teammates enemies and when we have that in a list with the data type player we'll have x y and z coordinates and we'll have the hp coordinates so we can do some checks here we can uh, for example if they don't have enough hp if they're dead we'll not add them into the list we can make some checks around here and when we have sorted out the bad ones uh, dead players and so on we can calculate the magnitude of the remaining players so uh, to calculate the magnitude, we'll need the local player's position and with some math, with some delta x, delta y and so on, we can get the magnitude of the entity to our player. So when we have that, we store that magnitude within the players, we can sort this 
list that's what I've made so we'll sort the list by magnitude because we want to aim at the nearest player and when we have the nearest player we can make the last function the aim function so we'll aim at the closest player so this is just an example list so players and the index 0 because that's the first one in the list so we aim at the nearest player at last this is just the structure so we can uh, easily make it in code later on I hope it wasn't that hard to understand it will work out in the end I promise all right finally we're in Visual Studio so I created a Windows Forms app nothing special and now we will go through step one or something like that we will create a data type for the player so to make it look more nice we'll just create another class so go to add new item and then we'll call this player add okay so we'll make this public so we can access it through our forms app and we'll give it some properties so public and then for the health points public int health get set. and we'll have the coordinates now you could do a vector but I'll make this easy so we'll have public float x get set now we can just copy y and z so now we have 3d coordinates now uh, the last one would be or you could add the team number we don't oh yeah we need to add public float magnitude so we'll also store the magnitude within the player okay so now we can test this player call it player it was new player yeah so now we have a data type which we can store all of or we can store the local player as this player class and we can store the different enemies and teammates as this player This was part one of many until we have a fully working aimbot for our salt cube. The next tutorial will be mostly code, but let me know if you like the pseudocode examples, then I'll make more.